Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Today we're looking at Dirty Grandpa, a vulgar and crass comedy that breaks all the rules in an effort to make you laugh. Problem is, it breaks the wrong rules, like the rules about character development and consistency, the timing of plot setups and payoffs, and grounding the characters in reality. Character motivations and dispositions seem to change from scene to scene, depending on the whims of the writers, and the jokes that rely on shock value lose their teeth when the characters involved can't be depended on to react in a specific way. You know what? I'm bringing too much analysis to a movie that has a running joke involving one character repeatedly shoving his hand up another character's butt crack. So I'll keep it as simple and puerile as the movie itself. I laughed, all right, at first and occasionally afterwards, but the movie kept beating you over the head with the same note so often it really wore out its welcome by the time it reached its weird and slightly uncomfortable conclusion. That's it for the capsule review. Let's get in depth. Dirty Grandpa involves a buttoned-up lawyer, played by Zac Efron, who is tasked with taking his recently widowed grandpa, played by Robert De Niro, Academy Award winner Robert De Niro, from Atlanta, Georgia to Boca Raton, Florida, after his grandmother's funeral. In addition to being a buttoned-up lawyer, Efron is also sort of happily engaged to a materialistic shrew, played by Julianne Hough and the wedding is a week away because of course it is. Over the course of the weekend, De Niro berates, belittles, manipulates, and otherwise terrorizes Efron into being the man he knows he should be. And he does it with a torrent of hateful, sexist, boorish behavior that we're supposed to laugh at. Here is a sampling. Jason Richard Kelly, son of... Dr. Smegma von Boxmunches. David and Brooke is a junior associate at the law firm of... Cream Pie, Fart, and Donkey Punch. Okay, who is that? This is Meredith Cole. Now look what you did. You dropped it in a car's vagina. And that seems to be the film's one big joke. Get an old man, played by one of the greatest actors of our generation, to say shockingly horrific things. Ha 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 ha. So funny! You know what else is funny? Teaching infants curse words. It's undeniably funny, but... It's immature and it's got a shelf life and then it gets old real quick. So does this film's ace in the hole and it will beat you over the head with it. Add to this fact that the characters seem to change at random. One minute Efron loves his yuppie lifestyle, the next he's always wanted to be a photographer somehow. One minute De Niro is crassly homophobic, the next he's defending a gay man from being bullied. It's just lazy. It gives the impression of just throwing everything at the wall and seeing what sticks. And much of what is thrown up here is simply just mean-spirited. In order for a movie to do horribly violent things to a villain character, for example, you have to make that character worthy of uh, violence, you know? They can't just simply be annoying jocks. They've got to be racist or do something horribly cruel to the protagonist. And isn't it just hilarious? when your movie's main character gets caught naked in what looks like a compromising position with a young child? Ha 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 ha! Hilarious! Uh, actually, no, it's not even close to funny. It's just icky. Also icky is the De Niro character's entire approach, motivation, technique. That's the one thing that is missing here is heart. All of the best examples of the gross out or sex comedy genre like American Pie or The Hangover the characters in these movies go on journeys of growth. And they're very bizarre and they're gross and take them to really sick and funny places, but there's always enough heart there and personal growth to justify the shenanigans. Here, some attempts are made to humanize De Niro and he plays them well enough because, you know, he's Robert De Niro, he can play anything. We get one scene that humanizes him, but in the very next scene, after we were so delicately touched by his performance, we're touched in a different way, and he's shoving his hand up Efron's butt. Or even shoving his penis in his grandson's face. I mean, what? It's just wildly inconsistent and very, very crude. Two bright spots in the cast, meaning the people who stay interesting the longest, are Aubrey Plaza, who has never been sexier. Those my pants? I found a Werther's original in the pocket, and I've been sucking on it all morning.
Whoops, I guess they just slipped off. And Jason Mantzoukas, playing a slippery and charming drug dealer. Relax. This is Florida. Everything's a licensed gun range. You just shot through a wall, man. Hey. There's pedestrians outside. Yeah, again, it's Florida. These people don't matter. What? So, welcome to Tan Pam Serve Slam. Probably the best improvisers in the cast, these two bring the funny repeatedly until they too, sadly, wear out their welcome. I award Dirty Grandpa a small bag of popcorn because if laughter is the litmus test for a comedy, and I believe it is, I must admit to having laughed a few scattered times, but the overall experience is lazy, immature, and kind of despicable. Like the titular grandpa, this movie is dirty, and it will make you want to take a shower. And if you giggled when I said titular just now, I don't know, maybe this movie is for you. Have fun. That does it for Movies That Pop. Don't forget, you can follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter at Movies That Pop. Also, take just a moment to click the icon right down there and subscribe. You'll find us easier next time. You'll stay updated on the release of upcoming videos, and it helps us out. So please, subscribe. You know you want to. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel, and uh, I've got someone's hand up my behind right now. <laughs>